The Lenovo Yoga Pro 714 Gen 8 has been out for 10 months now, but I couldn't help myself by picking up one recently on offer for £525 or $662 before taxes. With juicy specs including a vibrant 14.5 inch 3K 100% DCI P3 display, meaty AMD Ryzen 7 7735HS processor and a handy NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 dedicated GPU. Is it a content creator's dream ultrabook in early 2024? Let's find out. <music> If you watch my recent review of the Yoga Slim 7 Gen 8, the chassis design is similar in the Yoga Pro 7. Lenovo offers a colour choice of storm grey or tidal teal. The Yoga 7 Pro looks premium in the hand with rounded corners. Starting at 1.49 kilograms or 3.28 pounds, the Pro 7 is made of aluminium top and bottom, military standard 810H tested. The keyboard deck has hardly any flexing when pressure is applied. Same can be said of the display lid, offering excellent protection to the IPS display. The bottom cover has rubber feet to lift the yoga for better cooling. Talking of which, to open the bottom maintenance cover, remove the six screws, pry up the latches to remove the cover. The 16 gigabytes of LP DDR5 6400MHz memory module is soldered onto the system board. There's one removable M.2 2280 PCIe 4x4 slot to upgrade the storage capacity. The 73 watt hour battery is removable along with the Wi-Fi card. This review model has a 14.5 inch 3K 3072 by 1920 resolution IPS anti-glare non-touch 120Hz display panel. Color accuracy is rated at 100% DCI P3 and brightness is rated at 400 nits. The matte display is good for outdoor usage compared to some glossy glass panels. The rigid single hinge will open back almost flat to 180 degrees allowing you to find the optimum viewing angle. The panel has an adaptive refresh rate using the function and R keys to switch between auto, 60Hz and 120Hz for gaming. The thin bezels contribute to a 91.4% screen to body ratio. The screen is also iSafe Certified 2.0 and TCOM Timing Controller Color Calibration. In layman terms, the 3K is simply gorgeous to view on. Stunning accurate colors, excellent viewing angles and 120Hz for smoother video playback reduces motion blur and faster response times for gaming. This panel is made for editing videos, streaming or playing games. Tip, there is a 2.5 resolution 100% sRGB 90Hz display option and a touchscreen version of the 3K review display panel. On the left hand side we have a HDMI 2.1 port up to 4K 60Hz, a USB-C 10 gigabits per second with USB Power Delivery 3 and DisplayPort 1.4, a USB 4 Type-C 40 gigabits per second with Power Delivery 3 and DisplayPort 1.4, both USB-C ports can be used for charging the laptop. On the right, we have a USB-A 5 gigabits per second always on, a 3.5 millimeter headphone microphone combo jack, power button, and an e-shutter switch for webcam privacy. Inside is a MediaTek RZ616 Wi-Fi 6E 90211AX 2x2 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.1 M.2 combo card. The wireless connection was excellent throughout testing to a Wi-Fi 6 access point. Bluetooth was reliable using an external mouse or speaker. The keyboard feels spacious and comfortable with snappy feedback for fast and accurate typing thanks to the 1.5mm dish keycap design. The keyboard offers two-level backlighting and an ambient light sensor to turn on backlighting automatically. The generously large 80 by 135 mm buttonless glass surface touchpad is comfortable to use. Smooth glide action with multi-touch finger gesture support Microsoft Position touchpad drivers enhance the touchpad functionality. The touchpad is somewhat let down by the integrated mouse buttons, making a clicky noise when pressed, but you soon forget it's there after a while. The four stereo speakers consist of two woofers at 2 watts each and two tweeters also at 2 watts each, two located either side of the keyboard and two more speaker cutouts on the bottom panel. Optimised with Dolby Atmos and powered by AMF amplifier. Sound from these speakers are pretty good quality. It's low, mid and high tones are clear of deviations. It clearly fills a small room with clear, precise audio at high volume. On the downside, music playback lacks bass. Here are some audio samples. The 
webcam is a 1080p full HD RGB IR hybrid with quad microphone array offering clear and noise-free audio for video conferencing. Video quality is above average, passable for Teams or Zoom meetings. In low lighting, the picture quality decreases and the color accuracy is greatly reduced. There's also Hall and TOF sensors to aid in wake up from sleep, prolonged battery life and Windows Hello authentication. The webcam has a privacy shutter controlled by a toggle switch on the right hand side of the laptop. Only downside, it doesn't visibly show the shutter is closed like some other e-shutters. This review model has an AMD Ryzen 7 7735HS processor based on the Rembrandt refresh generation. 8 cores based on the Zen 3 Plus micro architecture with 16 threads, running at a base clock of 3.2 GHz up to a turbo clock of 4.75 GHz. TDP is rated at up to 54 watts, along with 16 gigabytes of LP DDR5 6400 MHz soldered on memory and one terabyte of SSD M.2 2280 PCIe Gen 4 TLC storage. The Yoga Pro 7 is very responsive with day-to-day -day tasks, cutting through everyday office tasks like a hot knife to butter. It also does well with Adobe Creative Cloud apps like Photoshop and Premiere Pro, only marred by the maximum 16 gigabytes soldered memory. The smart power key combination function and queue gives you three power modes intelligent cooling extreme performance and battery saving for our performance tests we set it to extreme performance mode in windows and plug the laptop in the mains during testing here are the benchmarking results for the yoga pro 7 gen 8 rtx 3050 3d mark time spy results came in with an overall score of 5135 cpu score of 8688 and a graphic score of 4790 3d mark time spy extreme had an overall score of 2332 graphic score of 2150 and cpu score of 4497 3D Mark Port Royal score came in at 2,857. 3D Mark Speedway score 1,014. PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 6,200. Cinebench 2024 testing produced a score in multi core of 538 and 65 in single core. Geekbench 6.2.2 gave a CPU score of 2,035 in single core and 9,221 in multi core and 55,468 in the GPU compute benchmark. Superposition resulted in a score of 9006. Blender version 4 gave a score of 947.14 with the RTX 3050. The AMD 7735HS gave a score of 169.75. Here's a comparison with some other similar AMD laptops. The AMD Ryzen 7 7735HS is still a fantastic processor. At the time of this review, its successor, the 7840HS, has itself been usurped by the new 8840HS. The AMD 7735HS is close to the much newer Intel Ultra 9 185H and ahead of the Intel i7-1360P in general benchmark scores. Using the quick CPU tool plugged in balance mode, downloading a game, CPU temperature is around 55 Celsius to 59 Celsius. CPU clock speed is around 2.5 GHz to 3 GHz and 11 to 22 watts CPU power. Plugged in balance mode or intelligent cooling idle. CPU temperature is 39 Celsius. CPU clock speed is around 2.5 GHz and CPU power is 5 to 10 watts. Fans stay silent. Plugged in balance mode or intelligent cooling video playback. CPU temperature is 50 Celsius. CPU clock speed is around 2.5 to 3.5 GHz and CPU power is around 20 watts. Fans stay virtually silent. Plugged in extreme performance, running Blender, benchmarking, CPU temperature hits 89 Celsius, CPU clock speed is around 3.5 to 4.5 GHz, and CPU power is around 30 watts with bursts of 60 watts in turbo. Fans soon spin up to 55.6 decibels. Under mains extreme performance mode gaming, fans hit 57 decibels. 44 Celsius on the vents and central keyboard deck. On battery mode, balance mode, typing on Google Docs, CPU temperature is 36 Celsius, CPU clock speed is around 1.5 to 2 gigahertz, and CPU power is around 6 to 9 watts. The fans remain silent throughout. On battery mode, extreme performance running Blender benchmarking, CPU temperature hits 85 Celsius, CPU clock speed is around 4.2 gigahertz, and CPU power is around 53 watts. The fans spin up within seconds to 56 decibels, which is noticeable. Inside is AMD Radeon 680M integrated graphics with 12 CUs running at 2.2 GHz. In this review model, there's also a dedicated GPU in the form of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 laptop GPU with 6GB of GDDR6 memory and a boost clock of 990MHz. The 3050 offers 2560 CUDA cores, 16 ray tracing and 64 tensor cores. 
TGP is rated at 58 watts. The performance should be between the old GTX 1650 Ti and the 1660 Ti Max-Q. It also is 10% behind the NVIDIA RTX A2000 in general benchmarking scores. The RTX 3050 is best suited for full HD gaming with high detail settings in demanding AAA games. Performance is not sufficient to enable ray tracing in most games. The Pro 7 is not a gaming laptop, but it's fine for casual gaming or esports. Here are some gaming samples. The Yoga Pro 7 is targeted at power users who use web or Microsoft 365 apps, business travelers, marketing execs, content creators, web and coding developers. The Pro 7 has several security features to protect your data. There's no fingerprint reader, but it does have an IR camera for Windows Hello authentication. There's a toggle switch to activate the electronic webcam privacy shutter. A firmware TPM 2.0 security chip provides additional encryption features. Inside is a 4-cell, 73-watt-hour battery. In general, office or college work usage, for example, multi-browser tabs open and Office 365 apps, 50% brightness, backlight turned on, intelligent cooling mode. Battery life was easily 8 hours. With balance mode 40% brightness, video playback battery life was nearly 7 hours. With heavy work tasks or gaming extreme performance and brightness, expect less than 2.5 hours. The 140 watt USB-C slim power adapter supports Rapid Charge Express, giving you 3 hours of runtime with a 15 minute charge. The good, the bad and the really bad. Stupidly cheap. My eyes popped when Lenovo had a sale on the Yoga Pro 7 for $525 or $672 before taxes. For the spec, even after being out for a year, is still an absolute steal. Old, but works. The Zen 3 Plus processor might be from last year, but the 7735HS is still a potent choice. Married with the RTX 3050 GPU, it's a pocket rocket for most jobs. Plenty of ports. For Ultrabook, the Yoga Pro 7 has a good selection of ports, HDMI, two USB-Cs, and one legacy USB Type-A port. None of this minimalistic two Thunderbolt 4 rubbish. Great inputs. Lenovo should know how to make keyboards, and the Yoga Pro 7 keyboard is no exception. Great key travel, well spaced out, and comfortable to type rapidly for long periods. The touchpad is smooth and generously large too. Matte display. This is going to be subjective, but compared to its cousin, the Yoga Slim 7 glossy display, you might prefer the matte screen if you work in well-lit environments or prefer display with minimal reflections. If you primarily use your laptop for multimedia tasks such as photo editing or gaming, a glossy screen may be the better choice. Nonetheless, the 120Hz IPS panel is gorgeous to view on. No SD reader. For a laptop aimed at content creators, the Yoga Pro 7 is missing an SD card reader. Then again, it is a thin and light Ultrabook. Fans and heat. Due to the slim dimensions along with the full fat 7735HS processor and the RTX 3050 dedicated GPU, the dual fans kick in when you're doing anything taxing or gaming on it. They get up to a noticeable 56 decibels. The chassis also gets warm to hot, not one to work on your lap with. 
16 gigabyte max. Shame the Yoga Pro 7 is hobbled by a maximum of 16 gigabytes memory. Whether you take the integrated AMD 780M or the RTX 3050 GPU option, stupid when this is aimed at content creators and power users who would need 32 gigabytes of RAM. If you're in the market for a 14-inch laptop with good specs at a good price, what other laptops would you be looking at? In no particular order, here's some to consider. Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Gen 8 14-inch AMD. Dell Inspiron 14 Plus. HP Pavilion Plus 14 EH 1000 NA. Lenovo Ideal Pad Pro 5 Gen 8 14-inch AMD. MSI Prestige 14 Evo B13M. Acer Swift X 14 2024. Zeus Zenbook 14 OLED UX3405. The Lenovo Yoga Pro 7 might be nearly a year old, but it doesn't show. There's a solid, well put together aluminium chassis, the lovely typing keyboard and large touchpad, a useful amount of ports, including a fast USB 4, a fantastic matte IPS display, an excellent system performance from the AMD 7735HS and RTX 3050 GPU partnership. There are some niggles. The fan can get noisy and can heat up when tags. Battery life could be better, but that's a trade-off for a dedicated RTX 3050 GPU. Lenovo have limited the Yoga Pro 7 to 16GB of memory, crazy when it's aimed at content creators and power users who would normally go for 32GB of RAM. Even the latest Yoga Pro 7 Gen 9 AMD is limited by 16GB of RAM. Why? We can ignore these weaknesses when you consider the bargain price of 525 plus taxes when I ordered one in November 2023. At this price, it's a no-brainer, offering superb value for money for a powerful, feature-rich Ultrabook that you can work and play hard with. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Lenovo Yoga Pro 7 Gen 8 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.